Well, it's a deadly disease that can catch patients by surprise. Pulmonary fibrosis. It affects your lungs and doesn't show many visible symptoms. For Your Life, Your Health, news specialist Ayanna Likens shows us how one woman is not letting this disease take over her life. I love to garden. Edna Anderson Taylor has lived an active life filled with gardening, walking, and. I'm having lots of surprises. You, me, and me. Being Miss Julie on the hit show Romper Room. Those were lovely years. Those were lovely, lovely years. Come on, up. She's always lived life to the fullest, even with her recent diagnosis. I think that has been what has saved me during this, that I can still remain active. She was searching for answers on why she was feeling shortness of breath for five years. No one could give her the answers until she met Dr. Peter Crossnose. If I hadn't seen him, I would, I would not be breathing by now. I just wouldn't. We want to bring to the forefront to people's awareness that this disease exists and there are people suffering from this disease. Dr. Crossno is a pulmonologist at Intermountain Healthcare. He says this disease affects each person differently, but 70% of patients will die within five years of its diagnosis. Lung cancer and pancreatic cancer, if you're thinking about cancers in terms of mortality, in fact, it's more fatal than colon cancer, uh, breast cancer, and some of the other more common cancers. So it slots itself in there as a very deadly disease. But within the last few years, doctors have found a medication that can slow down the scarring of the lungs. We are dealt a disease that, again, we don't have a cure for, but at least now we have a treatment that can slow it down. You know, and Edna is thankful for that medicine and says she's not letting her diagnosis take over her life. I want to live my life the way I have always lived it and the way I've always enjoyed it. And so long as I can, I will. For your life, your health, Ayanna Likens, KSL 5 News. Ayanna, thank you. Dr. Crossno says it's important to not push away your symptoms. If you've been feeling shortness of breath that you would normally uh, push away, she says, or he says rather, to go see your doctor.